new additions. We're talking about monitors and projectors from ViewSonic. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us is product manager Ray Hedrick. Hi, Ray. How's it going, Fred? Good to be here. Terrific. Well, we have some new innovations to talk about. Uh, first off, for gamers, you have the Elite XG340C 2K curved gaming monitor. You said it's it perfectly. the overview. That's quite a name. <laughs> it is quite a name. Yeah, we we uh, our, our part numbers are a little crazy, but they're usually kind of the size of the product and then uh, like how high up the rung we, we put the product. So um, our XG340C, uh, um, that is a new ultra wide for us. It's also our first uh, really 1000 R curves. So it's got a really strong curve to it. Um, so it's very important immersive when you're gaming. Um, and also it's it's one of our first uh, gaming monitors now that has USB-C with power delivery. So if you've got like a work computer, you connect to this thing during the day, you power that up and then you also have your game console or you have your gaming PC connected to it. It becomes kind of your hub for your desk. Everything can kind of be controlled just by that monitor. So uh, we're, we're pretty excited about it. What are some of the things that uh, designate a monitor as being a, a gaming monitor? Sure. So typically, um, in in our definition of it, we look for sort of higher higher than normal refresh rate. So we're not really going to call anything 60 hertz anymore gaming. Uh, we just think the market is kind of beyond that. Sure, there are older consoles that only support 60, but it's moving sort of 120 uh, plus uh, refresh rate in the near future. And so that's kind of where we peg a lot of our gaming, usually, usually 100 hertz and up for us. Uh, it's kind of where we do our gaming. And then you want to have one of those um, really trick uh, synchronizing systems like uh, FreeSync. Uh, you you want to have that in there so that, you know, it's synchronizing that monitor to whatever gaming hardware you have connected. Uh, so it's kind of those two things in particular. And then we also focus on really, really fast pixels. Uh, you you have a lot of movement on screen when you're gaming. You don't want to have a blurry mess. Uh, you want to have a nice, clear image. So we focus on fast pixels. So for us, those are sort of the three big things, the refresh rate, that synchronizing tech, and then fast pixels. Now, this is due to arrive, I think, next month, as is yes. the new Color Pro VP16 OLED display. Give us the overview of that. Yeah, that one's really, really cool. In fact, every time we show that at an event, there are always people walking over that want to know more about that that little portable monitor. So what, what it is, it's, uh, and I'm sure we'll have the, the links available for the viewers to see, um, it is a 15-inch a uh, full OLED um, portable. It's our first OLED product. So if you're not familiar with, with OLED versus other display techs, just know it's actually one of the nicest displays we've ever released. Perfect blacks, very bright, uh, even looks good outdoors, which is a very challenging environment. Um, and it's it's all sort of uh, cocooned in this uh, really cool design that we had that's, that's a double hinge design, and it allows it to sort of origami. You can set up the monitor in a bunch of different ways. You can actually lift the whole monitor up so that if you're, you know, working at a coffee shop, it's not looking down at the table height. It's actually up where you want to be looking for your, you know, ergonomics in your neck. Um, so just from a productivity standpoint, it's our best portable monitor, but because of that incredible display, it's fully for like the creative artist, the person person who's out there with their camera, they're taking photos, they're editing. This is a way of doing that on the go because the screen quality is fully calibrated and it is full wide color. Uh, it really allows those type of people to get their color work done. Um, so kind of a kind of an interesting dual purpose portable. Do we do we have pricing on that yet? And and the gaming monitor? Uh, I believe the MSRP that we set for the um, OLED is right around 533. It's sort of a calculation that we do on MSRP. Street price should be closer in the in about the 450 range for that product. Um, the uh, the larger ultra wide gaming, I believe that one is 899 MSRP. Terrific, and and you've had the VX1755 portable gaming monitor around for a bit and uh, featuring great connectivity there, winning lots of fans there too, I think. Yeah, uh, the 1755 it has been a great product for us. We released it, I'd say, six, eight months ago now. And uh, actually, it's probably been almost a year. Uh, time flies. Uh, but it's actually done really well for us. And it's unusual because there's not a lot of portable monitors that focus on gaming kind of those three things i talked about the refresh rate the synchronizing and the fast pixels so it's 144 hertz 
portable monitor, which in and of itself is unusual. Um, but we're getting great feedback from customers about the quality of the product, about the, the image the image quality of the product, the smoothness when gaming, you know, it can breathe life into an old gaming laptop that maybe doesn't have a high refresh rate screen. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that that portable monitor. And it just shows why, why we're so hot on portable monitors in general. Uh, we keep bringing out new ones that keep being innovative and interesting to the market. Terrific. Well, on the projector front, you have something new in the ultra short throw category. Give us the overview. Yeah, we have the X2000 uh, 4K. Uh, we sell it in two models, uh, a B4K and a W4K for black and white. Um, but we mostly focus on the black one for the U.S. market. Um, it's a really incredible little um ultra short throw projector. Um, it's got a really nice small footprint. So it's only about 15 inches wide. It's only about, you know, 12 inches deep. Uh, and in that small space, you can project a 150 inch image and you, it only needs to be a couple feet from the wall to do that. So, and for like a hundred inch, it's, it's like a foot and a half. It, it's really, really close. You can keep this thing to your wall. So super convenient, uh, especially if you've got like a, like a dresser or something in the bedroom, you can just place it on here, and then your whole wall becomes this enormous uh, viewing experience with 4K and HDR, really good sound bar in the front. We work with Harman Kardon on that, and so they develop that for us. Uh, they get to slap their logo on it. We like having their logo on it because customers appreciate Harman Kardon as a brand. So we get to have that sort of partnership with them, and the customer gets a really awesome sound bar in front of this thing to kind of give you that full cinema experience. Um, and I'm actually really hot on using these as like bedroom TVs. That's that's how I always recommend for my customers because uh, you're not actually looking at light. You're looking at a reflection of light when you're looking at a projector. And uh, it doesn't disrupt any of your circadian rhythms. It actually allows you to sleep much more naturally if you're the kind of person who likes to have the TV on when you go to sleep. Much better to use a projector because you're you're looking at reflected light as opposed to light that's shining right in your eyes from a TV. Um, so I, I really like it for that reason. It's just an immersive way to nice, peaceful way to go to bed. That's interesting because I think most people might tend to think of uh, a projector as being uh, what they would want in a, in a home theater. Exactly. Kind of environment. Yeah. yeah. And we're finding that uh, while it does awesome in that environment, and it really is one of the only ways to get that truly cinematic experience. Projectors have that really special magic that unless you try them, you don't know. Um, but yeah, it feels very cinematic when you use them. But we're finding with the high brightness ones, you can use them in all types of different environments now. The X11 4K is not ultra short throw, but has some impressive features too. Yes, so the X11 4K, um, very similar sort of engine driving that projector as in the X2000. But as you say, it's not quite an ultra short throw. So you kind of set this one up and you give yourself maybe four or five feet uh, to kind of build that image. Um, what that one's awesome for is that for being such a high brightness and 4K projector, it is still pretty portable. We have a built-in handle on it. We have a um, special sort of leather flap that covers all the ports, so nothing gets into it uh, as you're carrying around it's like a little lunchbox you can carry with you but it's it's as good as like a theater uh, just you can set up anywhere so if you want to go room to room um, if you're entertaining with kids kids love it you can go to a different room set it up on the ceiling do whatever and just have this incredibly bright vibrant image for gaming uh, for movie consumption for Netflix it's it's a really good product for that and, and I, to me that that being able to carry it around um, that's sort of the playful thing that I look for in products. That's sort of that that X factor that makes it fun to own that product. Well, you've had the M2E out for a while now, but that's, that's really a, a portable little projector. Yeah, HD is. quality on that, right? It is. That one's a full HD, so not quite the 4K. But honestly, truthfully, when you're talking projectors, it's not quite as significant, the resolution, as it is on, say, an HD TV. Um, because, again, it's it's reflected and projected light. It's almost more like film. Um, so you get you end up not noticing differences in resolution quite as much. Uh, I, the M2E uh, is one that I'm a big fan of. Uh, it's one that we use when I go camping a lot. 
So we actually connect it to a little portable battery. We we get the screen set up and we watch movies when we're camping using the M2E. And it is bright enough that, you know, there's people walking by campsites like, what is that? And they come over and they start watching. I mean, it's it's a really, it's a really amazing little product. It's a really fun product uh, to, to be able to project a really nice image like that with something you can just keep in your backpack. And there's something special about the, uh movies outside i guess uh, or even even sports i suppose on the on the patio or yeah at a, at a campsite it just makes it feel that much more special terrific for more information where can we send people uh always the best source for information on viewsonic uh products is viewsonic.com we try to put the the best and the greatest right there on the home page but feel free to dig through you can find all the information on our products there terrific ray hedrick thanks so much for spending time with us Thank you, Fred.